Before, we're going to have to do a little bit of, of um, digging on that. Apparently, uh, what's his name? Brick Baby did speak on that. Brick Baby. I think Remo, like, tried to talk to him or something like that. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I think maybe go to Remo's Instagram. Is it this is it this where where is it at? Okay, so Brick Baby responded to the rumors of him cooperating. He said this. You niggas gotta come with some other narrative than that, baby. You talk about a nigga telling. They got good paperwork for you right there. On the hood. And I'm free, nigga. On the dead of me. It's you niggas that be having the police, nigga. When I said that interview, when I said nigga. They don't say that no more. That's because the fans, nigga, used to DM me like, ah, you did that, nigga. They ain't talking about slide from behind no more. Whoop, whoop. I was trolling, playing like I had something to do with it, nigga. On the dead homies, whatever they got going on, is what they got going on, cuz on 6 0 Crip. Dirk said the same thing in his interview, nigga. On hood, who knew his homeboy was wearing a wire, nigga? On hood, this is Jay Reed and every cat, nigga. You niggas got to Okay, very, 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 very interesting, okay? Now, a few interesting things where people are digging up like old interviews um, is surfaced. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but people are believing that the person who's cooperating this guy is, is this guy named OTF Jam. Now, from what I've spoken to a lot of people, they said that they have, Internal sources within OTF that's been saying this already that they feel like this guy's a guy who's cooperating, and um, you know, nobody's heard anything about him ever since then. I don't know if he's free, I don't know if he's locked up. It's kind of odd. He apparently did 12 years in jail, got out, caught a gun charge, but who knows what the hell happened. By the way, we don't know if he's co conspirator too, which that would be an OTF person as well, right? So, OTF person is, is two. I forgot who five is, but I have it here somewhere. Anyway, interesting. Now, uh, there's a whole interview with him where people are like, you know, they feel like this is the ultimate betrayal of, of Dirk, OTF Jam, because it was reportedly said that OTF Jam uh, essentially was given, like, some money by Dirk when he got out of jail. And I think Dirk even rapped about, you know what I mean, giving $50,000 to OTF Jam because he held it down. Anyway, this is the interview we did. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> you that. This ain't no people I met. Nah, I knew them. Like I'm saying, this was before jail. I know Dirk was rapping. We, had that. we came out that loud yeah, when our yeah. lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh like back oh, then, Dirk. like before y'all. Y'all never even heard of that. Like, this was shit in our parties, like personal phone, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? In my whole time in jail, that stayed, bro. Like, before the money, you know what I'm saying? That was bro. Like, I remember when the money wasn't there. First, I'm going to say you 50. I'm, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, still I still gave my lawyer money and everything when I'm fighting my case. I ain't going to lie. Dirt come through. All that, like, dirt come through. That's, I'm, sure. that's sure. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say, like, Sure. I know I'm the real witness. Like a lot of niggas can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Like my life, my whole time in jail, I was straight. That's what's up? What's well, so, up? Like he was one of the main main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bit. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the guys did, but hell yeah, yeah, he was. I hood like that shit. though. Yeah, I hood like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. get to care. Yeah. Everybody get taken care. Yeah. 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 yeah, we always came together and made sure the guys were straight, right? Yeah. Shit, this is before, before you know, I was going rich. to Idaho you and know, all type of shit. Like uh -huh. that. <laughs> now, what's very interesting is that what we learned about um, Dirk a bit is that as much as some of y'all might not want to admit it, Vaughn was such a huge influence on Dirk. Even in his rapping style changing, him saying names a little bit more and being a little bit more really direct in music. But, you know, the, the, the whole Chicago looked at, I don't know if y'all remember this, 
King Von, 100,000. He went to the hood and gave out 100,000. And a lot of people are like, yo, this is not even the richest guy, but he's, you know, he showed up to the hood and he, he's giving money out to everybody. Oh, Where my little strain I'm at? Pause your time out. So so essentially, you know, uh Vaughn gave out like a hundred thousand, you know, in O Block and people are like, yo, that's like really how you take kids. You know what I'm yeah, so people were really, you know, giving him props about that. And, and and I'm not saying that he started um, influencing Dirk to give out money or whatever the case is, because Dirk, from what I've heard, has always paid the bail and always held it down for, for the dudes he rocks with. When he would hold it down for them with a lawyer, bail, he's always did that, right? But, you know, some people feel like that was a little bit influential for, for Dirk. And Dirk was, you know what I mean, a little bit more hospitable and would give things to, you know, some of the guys who came home, put them on their feet real quick, you know? That's a mandatory, like, hell yeah, bro, like, played this part for sure, like, overplayed it. I love bro for that. Can't this shit forever. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he's super solid, bro. Like, a lot of niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam, I'll give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to act shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam. I'll give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to act shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. All you know facts. what I'm saying? Facts. 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 Ooh, he said more than that. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to ask shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. All you know facts. what I'm saying? Facts. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 what like, that? Yeah. But see, can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even? No, no, I ain't got to get into all that. But bro made sure he made a way for me to be straight. Like, like he saying that I asked again, you know, like shit, free a car, all that. Just let me take care of anything I need to take care of. Period. Like, it's still up. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, but mm. Yeah, so this is a longer interview. But, uh, <laughs> that's for real. I ain't saying that, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one. Look, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna put no spotlight on that situation, man. Wanna play with him, though? I ain't gonna put no sp hmm. Interesting, but people think that he's cooperating, right? Uh, people think that he's the cooperant. People show him here. He's with, um, you got Didi, you got our dirt down here. And apparently this is him here. Um, then here's shit. You got all three of them. <laughs> Yo, people in the comments are so funny. Say you can see the cord of the wire on the third slide. Niggas ain't shit, bro. The cord of the wire. Where the fuck did they say the cord of the wire is that? Is this the third slide? Where's the cord at? Yo, niggas just saying anything, bro. So people are claiming he wore a wire, right? We, we, you know, obviously there's some cooperating shit here. By the way, what's his name? I need to find his name because I could, I could see if we could find where he's locked up. If he's not locked up where he's supposed to be locked up, you know he cooperating, right? OTF Jam. Let me Google it and see if I can find him. OTF Jam. What's his name? Now, supposedly, uh, we had King Yellow who even spoke on this. And by the way, I was on a, I was on a call earlier. King Yellow, OTF Jam. I was on a call with, like, all these guys. Uh, well, we're whacking everybody else, but... Let me see. The, the... So they called a case. Here we go. King Yellow. All right, here we go. King... Why well, was locked up and I had him think looking for 
OTL for somebody to go slide or. So 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 he's giving a backstory on the OTF Jam guy. In jail. Hey yo, it's your boy King Yellow man. Uh, <clears throat> for the people that don't know, on the little dirt case, um. The reason, I'm gonna give y'all the reason, the reason why, the reason why OTF Jam snitched okay. on Lil Dirt. So, I mean, I think we know the reason to not go to jail, right? Like, it doesn't get too complicated. Like, why does someone tell? Nah, because they don't wanna go to jail. And or, jail. or to get less time. You tell you. In jail, OTF Jail was talking down on uh, mainly Booney Mo. Him and Booney, Booney Mo caught a case and he did the time. He was mad, Lil Dirt kept rocking with Booney Mo and wasn't going to stop messing with him. Um, knew it was real because Booney Mo was locked up and they wasn't rocking. They was, rock they was locked up together. So they caught a case together in jail together, but they was not messing with each other. So they both did all that time. So maybe because Booney Mo did a lot of time too. So, um, but I think Booney Mo only did like eight, nine, or ten. He did like ten. I think Booney Mo came home before OTF Jam. Um. They was locked up, um, and they wasn't rocking. Okay. We'll go to the next one. And another reason, another reason why OTF Jam snitched. OTF didn't help when o uh, OTF Jam baby mama was murdered. OTF Jam, baby mama was murdered. Really? Why was locked up and I had him thinking the worst about that situation. Um, they was in locked up and shared him. Shared him. Correct me. So, this is the reason why he snaked out Lil Dirt. He snaked out Lil Dirt because you see Dirk is more rocking. So, you know, people pay attention. He's probably paying attention and mad that Dirk was putting more time and effort into Booney Mo. He had Booney Mo around. And y'all see the rat OTF Jam. Y'all see his mug shot on his pictures and just look at him. He looked like he been through a lot and he looked like he had a hard time in prison. He looked like, you know, even in an interview, there's an interview um, where he's talking about all oh, dirt took care of me in jail. He gave me 50000 when I came home. But the look on his face, he had an ill, ill intentions. He did not, it did not sit well with me. It did not look right. It looked like, hmm, some cat. Or oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. But they caught the case together. Maybe it was... He was mad that whatever happened they did at the time, I forgot what they went to jail for, but that they got caught. And he